does if not then why why did congress party decide to give loans to young india why congress wanted to revive the national herald can you give details of the loans given by the congress can you give details of assets of ajl and national herald this is some of the list of questions rahul gandhi's statement viewers will be recorded under section 50 of the pmla three officers part of questioning team assistant director rank officer to ask questions another officer to type what rahul gandhi says and write and a deputy director rank officer will supervise the questioning before the questioning like i pointed out viewers rahul gandhi will have to take a oath that he will speak the truth and the truth only the list of questions is what was your position in ajl how are you associated with young india why did you hold shares on your name did you have any meeting with previous shareholders if not then why why did congress party decide to give loans to young india why congress wanted to revive national herald can you give details of the loans given by congress can you give details of assets of ajl and national herald that some of the list of questions that will be asked we're going to cut across to my colleague munish pande who's joining me live for the latest uh, munisha can you get us up to speed on what's really happening inside right now all right we seem to have no reporters with us we're going to try and uh, patch uh, munish pande and get him live uh, for a larger understanding on what's going on meanwhile the congress claims that rahul gandhi's lawyers were not allowed to go inside i'll bring in supriya my colleague uh, to talk us through it supriya uh the congress says the lawyers were not uh, allowed to get inside that's what the claim that mr pichidambara was also making outside well that's uh, yes priti uh, the congress leaders have been maintaining that rahul gandhi's lawyer wasn't allowed to enter into the premises they had to stand outside just here when nasir i would like to show uh, at this very point for uh, some time and uh, they spoke to us also uh, diranjan chaudhary to everyone else and they said this is unprecedented that the lawyer is not been allowed to enter into the area and finally the lawyer uh, managed to go inside How However, there was a bit of alteration which we saw. There was a two-two meme kind of a situation over here, where a Peach Damram, who is a former union minister, was seen here uh, in very heated uh, moments, which were taking place between uh, between him and the Delhi police officials. And finally, all these leaders were dragged, and we have seen those scenes, which were unprecedented. So, how uh, these leaders were dragged from here? We'd like to play that uh, report in a short while. Back to you. All right. So uh, we're going to continue getting our viewers. Uh, the latest right now, viewers. This is. outside the ed headquarters i would reckon everyone's catching a breath uh, it was uh, 40 minutes of abject pandemonium uh, the cops also now catching a breath there's crpf there's rapid action force uh, there are company and units of the delhi police so what we were given to understand a conservative estimate estimate of 1000 police personnel if not more just the police personnel there i want to cut across right now as we take you through this mammoth uh, security ring that has been thrown uh, around the enforcement directorate colleague uh, munish pande finally with us munish get us up to speed of what's happening inside right now rahul gandhi is uh, team outside says his lawyers are not being given access uh, is that correct give us the latest jawal priti i am standing right outside the ed office and uh, what we have been given to understand is that rahul gandhi's statement is being recorded under section 50 of prevention of money laundering act now as far as uh, this questioning is concerned now what is going to be very important is that the in this questioning rahul gandhi has to take oath before giving any answer that means he has to disclose that whatever he'll speak it will be truth otherwise it will be perjury now as far as this entire questioning is concerned it is being done by a team of three members of ed officials the statement will be recorded by an assistant director rank officer who is the investigative officer of the case the second person will be typing whatever rahul gandhi is saying now as far as the third officer is concerned deputy director rank officer he will be supervising the entire questioning now this questioning is why important for enforcement directorate what they claim that earlier they have recorded statements of all the office bearers of ajl 
Young India and National Herald. Only two people are left, that is Rahul Gandhi and Sonia Gandhi, and today they want to complete the questioning by, uh, uh, by questioning Rahul Gandhi. Now, as far as uh, Young India and AGL are concerned, there are certain questions which are going to be very important for enforcement directorate, and also these questions are going to be extremely important for Rahul Gandhi. Why it is going to be important for Rahul Gandhi? Because remember, Rahul Gandhi is a person who is the shareholder of Young India. He holds 38 percent share of shareholder of young india uh, his mother sonia gandhi holds share of 38 percent of young india as far as agl is concerned they are going to question about the 92 crore of rupees uh, debt on agl 50 lakh rupees of loan which was given by congress party to young india and also that by, by after investing 50 lakh rupees basically young india acquired properties of more than 2000 crore belonging to agl so According to ED, these are the malicious uh, transactions 